Welcome my beautiful Capricorns. Here is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for this week. Your all over energy card that you do have is regeneration. So this is like getting a second chance. This is like rebirth. This is new, new opportunities coming into you. You know, you may have felt, you know, in the past uh, that there was failure or loss, but you know what? It's going to be replaced with something even better and more powerful growing in its place. Step into your new life. Um, this is all about destiny fulfilling and coming in with abundance for you. There's going to be new opportunities and much better than those that came before. So look for these gifts, accept these offers coming in. Don't get caught up in your, in your head that things, you know, that had gone awry things that had not turned out the way you wanted you're going through regeneration now you're rebuilding a new foundation and you're going to be getting beautiful beautiful new opportunities that are going to be even better so whatever ended whatever left you feeling depleted now you're stepping up and you're going to have a brand new start i love it Coming in with your first energy card, you've got ground yourself. So it's saying here that you need, well, we'll do it this way. Uh, when you detach from awareness of your body and the physical world, you become ungrounded. Although it's pleasant to float home, heavenward, your attention and work are needed upon the earth at this time. And know that the universe and the divine are helping you balance the spiritual and the material part of your life so that you can enjoy everything coming into you and the opportunities flowing in. So I always look at this as <clears throat> there's many different ways we can ground ourselves, And you know, some of them have to do with uh, going Going out and walking barefoot on the grass or the soil, eating good foods, tapping into natural things, uh, you know, uh, touching plants, touching trees, putting your hands in the soil, all of those things that have to do with Mother Earth are grounding elements and everything has energy in it. So you're being asked to get out into nature, you're being asked to take yourself there. Maybe you want to go sit on the beach or you want to go sit in the woods or you want to go sit up in the mountains. Wherever your favorite place is or sit beside a stream, you can sit there and you can ground yourself. Take your shoes off and let your feet feel Mother Earth, feel the beat, feel the energy. It's all about you stepping up into that. So some of you might want to go and spend time in the garden. Uh, you might want to be working with flowers and horticultural things. You could be adjusting your diet, your lifestyle habits, so that you're aware of eating more, <clears throat> more things that are grown in the ground and on the ground, uh, rather than walking on the ground. And I do think that you're going to be down to earth as well. And being your authentic self, maybe in a relationship, because being grounded there as well has to do with that. This is all about Mother Earth and the universe sending you a message that you need to maintain stability and you need to maintain balance and be grounded. Now, you need to surrender to spirit. Once you have done everything you can do to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine, let spirit work its magic. So you might have been concentrating on something, doing something that you wanted to bring fulfillment and success into, and you pretty much have laid the stepping stones towards your goal, your passion, whatever it is that you've been, uh, you know, leaning into. Now it's, you know, the old adage, let go and let God. You pretty much have done everything you can do. So just be patient and wait it out. I think that, you know, spirit's got your back. I think you're grounding yourself now. You're, you're getting new opportunities and ways of now being able to see success and opportunity coming into you. Because look what you have here. You have the four leaf clover. And it's not just one. It's a cluster of them. And I do think that you're going to be seeing your energy shift. You're going to be seeing delays ending. You're going to be seeing good luck coming in, good Karma coming in and success coming in towards you. And again, you know, you've done everything that you can do. So uh, just maintain your stability, stay in alignment, stay on your path, know that you're going in the right direction, and that the universe is now bringing you new opportunities and possibilities for good luck. And you're going to see that. Wow. Okay, coming in with your, your crowning energy for your tarot reading, your card is Justice. Now, justice means that maybe some of you are dealing with things in the legal system. Maybe you're dealing with courts and lawyers and judges and so on. Maybe some of you are advocating, promoting, or defending yourself for something. The justice says things are going to be waived in your favor. It will be an even and fair uh, division of 
whatever it is you're going for. Some of you it could be custody, some of you it could be settlements, it could be uh, the disbursements of property and money and so on. Whatever it is you're defending yourself for and promoting yourself for, it's going to work out in your favor. So I love when this comes up. It means that you're going to win something, you're going to get something, but I love the fact that it's even here. That it's going to be a fair and just decision that's made for you, but it will make you happy. It will be working in your favor. Now, sometimes we have to make compromises. We might not get the full amount or the full thing that we wanted, but we have to be open to that. But I think you're going to see a beginning coming in here and you're going to get the opportunities that you've so been wanting. Coming in behind you, you have the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups says, for a time you may have been feeling like you were missing out on an opportunity. You were absolutely bored in a situation. Now, Cups often refer to relationships. Maybe you've been in a relationship that's become stale and stagnant. It's not as exciting and as fun as it used to be. Let's all face it, the honeymoon does wear off after a time and relationships take work to maintain that romance, maintain that compatibility, maintain that beautiful feeling that you have felt in the honeymoon stage. So I think that you know you need to keep your eyes open for all offers and opportunities coming into you. Maybe some of you are in a relationship and you might not be actually married to that individual. Uh, and, and you have this opening, a door opening for new beginnings. Keep your options open. I think some of you are, have been worried about a situation here. When the Nine of Cups comes in, you've lost sleep over this issue. So the universe is saying, let it go. Let that go because you're going to be stepping up here with the power of the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is so focused. She's not afraid of anything. She's been to hell and back. She's walked through the fire. She's come out the Phoenix. And there will always be the naysayers and the doubters in your life. You know what? She has them. She turns her finger up at them and she says, ha, watch me. Been there. Done it. Now I'm going for what I want. And I think you're stepping up into your power. Uh, you're not going to need to <clears throat> to be so worried anymore and lose your sleep because this is a card that says you need to get your rest because if you don't, it can lead to emotional and then physical uh, illness and we don't want that. So let leave your worries on the chair before you go to bed. Don't lose your rest over this. You have this four-leaf clover coming in and you have this regeneration coming in. So stay in alignment. Things are working out for you. Look what you've got here in your energy now in the now position. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is all about new opportunities coming in. I love it. It's about <clears throat> prosperity. It's always about, uh, you know, happiness and prosperity coming into you and abundance flowing towards you. You know, it could be in the form of you're going to get a settlement. Maybe you're going to get some unexpected money or maybe you're getting a salary increase or maybe you're going to get a promotion. But it also is the beginning of something wonderful and new coming in that's going to bring you happiness and success. If you're thinking of investing your time, effort, support, or money into something, this is a good time to do that. I think if you're con considering opening your own business or stepping out to <clears throat> partner up with somebody else, this will be a successful time for you to do that as well. It might require some signing of some important legal documents, contracts, and correspondence with others. This card is beautiful because it also talks about improving good health. So get your rest. I think it's important. If any of you have been uh, dealing with, you know, feeling under the weather, not yourself, keep in mind, I am not a doctor, but this is one of the meanings of this particular card. And it says you're going to be seeing improving health. Some of you could be going back to school. You could be contemplating earning a degree or something to add a credit to your resume that's going to help enhance your income coming in and improving. It's the card of excellent. Good luck, my beautiful friends. Below your crowning energy, the justice, you have the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords says you could be waiting for something or something could be troubling you. And obviously, something has been troubling you. And I think for some of you, it may be a legal issue. Uh, for others, it may not. But for some of you, I do see that. I think that you're getting up in your head. You're worrying. You think you can't go forward. You think that, you know, everything is blocking your way. And you can't see your, yourself <coughs> swimming out of that muck and mire. But let me tell you something, Capricorn, this is all up in your head. When this card shows up, it says, get out of your head, open your eyes, and you'll be able to see the picture in complete clarity. You're allowing that stress level to make you lose sleep here, when at the end of the day, you're going to see prosperity coming in. Justice is going to be served in your favor. So stop worrying about something so much. Step into the power of the Queen of Wands. Stay focused on your goal and, know that, and stay positive, because you're going to be getting these opportunities coming in. Just maintain stability and being grounded. Now, 
coming in towards you you got that beautiful card the chariot and you know guys i always refer to the chariot as the champion goes into the arena with a mindset he knows there's risks he knows there's consequences but he goes in there with a mindset he's going to win and he does so you're going to be able to commend yourself and pat yourself on the back for making a great accomplishment whatever you've been working advocating fighting for and uh, promoting yourself for as i said you're going to see it come in so you're going to get public recognition others around you are going to be able to pat you on the back as well and say job well done coming in below that you have the six of swords you definitely are going to see the end of troubling times this is a card that says you're leaving troubled waters and going to calmer shores there will continue to be some little glitches some little challenges along the way you've heard me say this you don't throw a rowboat in the middle of the, of the ocean and not expect a few waves to come up or a storm but you're going to go through those storms and you're going to make it also you're taking only those on this part of your journey that you want with you those that truly love and support you coming in uh, your final card coming in towards you is the five of swords now the five of swords often talks about a no-win situation picking your battles wisely again um, you know anytime we go into battle mode uh, or, or, or heavy debates we always realize again there's risks and there's going to be consequences and sometimes we win the battle and we still feel depleted and defeated wondering why it had to go to that point why did it have to come to this why couldn't we have been amicable why couldn't we have been compatible why couldn't we have mediated through this but the bottom line is um, you know be careful don't make unwise decisions to go into battle mode uh, if it's going to be a no-win situation. Now, let's see what we have for clarification here, my beautiful, beautiful Capricorns. Spirit, what do they need to see? What do they need to know? What do they need to to expect now when I shuffle all these cards ahead of time because there's a lot of them I ask spirit the same questions okay so I only take the cards that jump out of my deck and that's what you get it is a general reading keep that in mind now coming in with the justice card you have been given the three of cups excellent card you're gonna have reason to celebrate you you're winning something you're coming out ahead the battles over and you're good going to want to get together either with your friends or family and celebrate it's you're you're feeling very emotional now and you want to share that beautiful beautiful energy with those that you care about and i said you're going to be walking this part of your journey <clears throat> with people who truly want to be there with you who truly want to support you and they're going to want to revel and they're going to want to party and enjoy life with you uh, this is a beautiful time of getting together this is the card of good fortune as well and 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 happy conclusions and obviously with the justice card you've got that coming in with the four of cups feeling bored you have the world remember something the world is a big place there's more than one fish in the sea so if you're dealing with a, a no win go nowhere type of relationship with somebody you know what you need to do you need to move on and there's all kinds of ways of doing that get out there promote yourself this is a beautiful card of taking it to the next level going where it is you want to go the world is a beautiful card perhaps you're going the distance and you're going to be traveling too okay nine of swords losing your sleep maintain your stability and your strength my beautiful friends when you're communicating or dealing with others okay I want you to look at the whole situation almost put yourself in their shoes and deal with things in a kinder more compassionate understanding manner and that forgiveness could be coming into play here too so um, don't go into battle d with with people this week with the roar of the lion because you're going to react and then regret go in with the gentleness of a lamb remember you can catch more flies with honey than you can with vinegar coming in with our very strong focused beautiful queen of wands guess what you got you got the wheel of fortune oh my gosh capricorns this is turning out to be an absolutely phenomenal positive reading here yeah you've had your troubles you've had your trials and tribulations you've had to defend promote and you know fight for something here but at the end of the day the universe says look four leaf clover wheel of fortune my gosh reason to celebrate justice is going to be served opportunities and offers coming in that are going to allow you to go through this beautiful new beginning and rebirth just stay in alignment you've done everything you can and by the looks of things the divine and the universe is giving you it coming in with our ace of pentacles you have the seven uh rather the eight of 
uh, eight of pentacles and this is you working for your goals staying focused going for what it is you want again this is a card that says some of you may be going back to school you may be taking a new form of study as I said trying to promote yourself and get a degree or a credit of some sort to help your business help your resume get you more money get you more finan financial success this is about perfecting your craft so stay focused keep moving towards it uh, you know nothing lands at our feet uh, you know unless we work for it and that's what you're doing here and those opportunities are definitely coming in because you've worked hard for what you want queen of cups beautiful card she's very motherly she's very uh nurturing uh she's doing what she needs to do for herself first and then she can transcend that energy out to those that need it um this could be the card that says you know what again you're going to be putting yourself in the shoes of other people and i always say she puts herself in the shoes of her court so that she knows how they tick how they think how they feel and then she can step back and deal with them on that level not go in with authority and being caustic and being abrasive and being being arrogant she goes in there with uh, and, and and understands the situation compassionately and I think you're going to be doing that uh, she's also a very motherly uh, motherly nurturing uh, sign um, she she's emotional and I think you're dealing with emotional issues as well and it could have to do with relationships with other people but I think they're going to evolve to a new level which will be better because you're going to be dealing with them more compassionately this is a beautiful card that says you know what you're going to be able to see harmony and love within your family circle and your home this queen could also be somebody coming in to nurture guide protect and or you know just basically hold you up and it could be a dear reliable friend that's, that's doing this but they're very creative and they they tap into your emotions as well it could be a water sign cancer scorpio or pisces now coming in towards you with your chariot your champion card you've got I'm not surprised you have the Emperor and you're stepping up into your own power now this is taking control and being a leader uh, you've come to that point now where you're you're going forward you're going for what you want you now have the resources to do that um, this could be somebody that you know as well that maybe it could be an advocate for you stepping up here to help you with something uh, you know could be um, <clears throat> You know somebody in government uh, you know law enforcement things like that it has to do with could be a father figure somebody who comes in who wants to help you with something but it's also the desire to be successful and having that grounding and stability to move forward making wise choices because that's who this individual is could also be dealing with somebody with you could be dealing with government issues as well coming in with our six of swords you have the chariot again Wow double double whammy here uh, you're moving on you're leaving troubled waters behind you've taken the bull by the horn you've won the battle and now you're going forward uh, to 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 your new future coming in with your five of swords you have the knight of rods something uh, might be coming in very quickly that will require your attention something that you might have to sign could be a contract could be a partnership uh, could be some legal uh, legal jargon that you need to sign as well and it's going to need your immediate attention it could even be somebody you know you've, you've applied for a job or a position or something like that and you're going to hear about it don't shelf it don't wait don't procrastinate uh, somebody's always there to jump in your shoe so make sure you act on it and give it your full attention but use your wisdom and caution especially if you're signing any documents or contracts okay this can also refer to somebody coming in very suddenly towards you uh, this could be a <clears throat> excuse me an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarian uh, energy that comes towards you and they could be a fast and passionate uh, sudden love affair that's coming in for others I think you might be traveling for business um, and some of you might be changing your residence and moving away well my beautiful beautiful Capricorn this is your reading for this week and I am so happy for you I mean you've got so many cards here that come up and and uh, layer uh, you know wonderful good news and energy on the struggles and the challenges that you've had to deal with but you're moving on in a new direction you're maintaining your stability by being grounded um, you're going through a new beginning and a rebirth and all of it is coming in and giving you reason to commend yourself and celebrate this I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic we care to look forward to and always be cautious and remember the universe is not happening to you the universe is reacting to you so keep be be mindful what you throw out there because you're going to get it back tenfold so keep it positive positive. 
And know that the universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed and want you to find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. And let's all still continue to play safe, be safe, and stay safe. And soon we'll all be able to see each other. Very soon.